So a walking topwater like the Strike King Sexy Dog is going to be a really versatile bait on the Mississippi River, basically throughout the entire summer period all the way into mid-fall. I'm talking mid-October, even late October, they'll still be biting this thing. You just have to change where you're fishing it and how you're fishing it. As we progress through the late summer and into early fall, I like to throw it on flats, shallow sand flats with grass present. You know, you can't throw this thing into heavy grass, obviously, because of the treble hooks, but I like to throw it around a little bit of sparse vegetation. I'm, I'm looking for areas that I can actively see shad on the surface, places where I'm seeing seagulls diving on bait, stuff like that, places where I know that fish are likely to be feeding on the surface. And from there, I'm gonna take this bait and just cover large areas of water. My standard approach is gonna to be to fish this thing relatively quick and try to get a bite. Um, if I can get, if I'm getting fish that are kind of swirling on the bait but not actually committing to it, that might prompt me to slow down my retrieve a little bit. But generally, it's just a standard walk the dog back and forth retrieve, which I'm doing by relaxing my wrist and I'm throwing slack into the rod or into the line towards the bait and then taking that slack up rapidly by jerking the bait or jerking the rod downward. And I can just impart that perfect action in the bait as I reel and throw slack at it continuously like that. And you just keep walking it. It's gonna go back and forth, back and forth. One thing in the fall when you've got this bait tied on, you're looking for the biggest fish out here. I mean, I've caught so many big smallmouth and largemouth in the fall on a topwater bait. It's unbelievable. Um, the biggest fish in every school is gonna fall for that thing. You know, you can catch them on different baits, but if you've got a five or six pound largemouth or smallmouth sitting there in a school, he's gonna go for that topwater. And the strikes you'll get on that are second to none. The biggest mistake people make when they're fishing the topwater is they tend to set the hook too early. You know, what I always tell people is you don't ever really even want to set the hook when you're fishing this, this bait. You know, I'm using a seven foot medium heavy rod. It's got a lot of give to the tip on it. It's almost like a cranking rod. And I'm using braid to a small fluorocarbon leader. This, I'm talking about the leader is only about three and a half feet long. And obviously we know that fluorocarbon sinks, but with such a short leader, it doesn't affect the action of the bait at all. And uh, when you're working this bait, you just literally keep working it until that fish loads up the rod. There's no reason to set the hook. What's gonna happen is if, if you set the hook with a topwater bait, you're gonna miss a lot of fish and pull that bait out of the strike zone. And by the time you can reel in, cast back in there, back into where you think the strike zone is, that fish is already long gone. So you need to just keep working that bait and, and wait until that fish actually gets it. That's how you're gonna hook and land a lot more fish.